Welcome to DigitalLifestyle.com video show. Take a quick look at um, first impressions of running Windows 7 on my Samsung Q1 UMPC. This ran Windows Vista uh, with a bit of effort to run Windows Vista. Actually, it's one of the older Q1s, and um, as you'll see from this, Windows 7 actually works surprisingly well. This is the PDC M3 build of uh, Windows 7. So the first thing you'll see here is that the um, is the on-screen keyboard because I've installed the drivers to enable the um, human interface drivers, the touch screen, you've got the on-screen keyboard so obviously that's the standard one but uh, if you're using the touch screen you can enter the keyboard so I'm going to enter my password first you see the nice touch interface uh, hold it down, you've got the right click very much like uh, the same way as uh, Windows Vista You've got the uh, tab, the input. You've got the tablet input pad, so I can write in here, or I can choose the keyboard, and I can use the keyboard, which is again a nice improvement over Vista. First, it feels to be performing well. It's you see, it's nice and fast. It's uh, I found the Q1 pretty much unusable before uh, with Windows Vista on. It was just really slow. So this seems to be working quite nicely. Now, you've seen the post that I've written about uh, getting the drives installed. So far, I've not got the sound working, but everything else is is working okay. We've got IE8 on there. And, of course, we've got Windows Media Center. Not quite so useful without the sound, but it, it works. I can't quite get to work in full screen. If I put it into full screen, you get a black screen, and I think that's a, a graphics driver problem, but running it in a window media center runs quite fine uh, so I can use a touch screen to browse through media center I don't think I've got any content on here yet so there's not a lot to show in media center and uh, we'll, I'll do another video showing a bit more details on uh, Windows media center in Windows 7 There's an updated version of Windows Media Player. You find it a, a lightweight version, really. Which uh, this is Windows Media Player 12, and uh, this has the uh, uh, libraries feature, so I can share libraries between computers on my home network, which is something we can look at get on a future show. This is a, so you can see the pen flicks. So let's have a look at running a couple of applications. You see in Media Center, let's try i8. So this is running i8, nice and, nice and smooth, pretty fast. We're okay. We've got uh, Windows Media Player at 12. Let's try open a few applications. Like we've got so we've got Media Center and let's have a look at the memory usage on that. 651 meg. So this is definitely better. And it's not constantly paging all the time, which I did find was a problem. On Vista. So that was a quick look at Windows 7 running it on the Samsung Q1. Uh, the next challenge is to get the sound working. In a future video, I'm going to look at actually using Media Center on the Windows 7. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.